I hope to discover that I'm not from the country. <laughs> Lisa's starting her search with her paternal grandfather, Harry Hammond. On my hands, I can count the times that I met Harry, so I know nothing about Harry. She's come to North London to visit her uncle Chris. Lisa's grandparents separated when Chris was 10, and he stayed with his father, her grandfather. <laughs> You're right. Hello. Lisa's cousin Katie and Aunt Angela are also here to see her. Do you remember him? <laughs> I'm younger than you, so I probably know even less. Yeah, our family huh? is a total mystery. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, honestly. I lived with Grandad for about 15 years. Right. Just us two. Wow. So, but as I say... You still sort of don't know him? Not really, not his earlier life. He's not been dead that long, and he's he's lived with you, but yet none of us are... None of us don't none know what's going. He would just clams up about his earlier life. After her grandparents died, Lisa's uncle Chris inherited their few remaining family photographs. OK. And there's Grandad Harry. What's he drinking? My milk. I was busy eating the toffee apple. So, and that's got to be 1960. Oh, he looks quite handsome, doesn't he? See, it's so strange, Chris, because I can't you just picture don't... him. Really? In a way. Yeah. Like, I s sort of picture him as a sort of still person. I can't imagine him again. Yeah. But it's because I didn't see him much. What was he like, like, as a person, if you know? Well, to the people he knew, he was quite gregarious. Yeah. So, but he loved his horse racing, his beer, his couple of pints. He was not an excessive drinker. There's the family portrait. Oh. Granddad again, nanny, daddy, and me. Thing is, everybody knew him as Harry, but he was born Henry George Hammond. Oh, Henry. And there's a death certificate. As you can see, Henry George, and he passed away in October 1995. Did uh, Grandad ever tell you about what he did in terms of his um, job? There was talk of sort of army background or...? I did have a picture. It was of either me or Daddy in his arms, but I cannot for the life of me remember what uniform it no. was. But he would never talk about the war whether something really bad happened to him mm. or he lost a lot of friends and just blocked it out and never wanted to talk about it. I'm really not sure. Mm. There's no information about Harry. So I'd like to find out more about what he did in the war, what it, is this war connection and what happened to him to make him not want to talk about it. So I'm going online to look at a register of everyone when the war broke out. So search for relatives. Henry Hammond, 1923. There he is, straight away. Henry G. Hammond, 1923, Shoreditch, London. Preview. Ah, here he is. Hammond household. Minnie J. E. Hammond is also on this record. Who's Minnie? Female was born 17th of March, 1878. Is that his mum? It's just them two. Where's his dad? And we've got Henry, Harry, as S, single. And Hammond, Minnie, J-E, W. Widow. So his dad was dead. He was living with his mum. And he was only 16. And he was working, clearly, as a will builder. And many unpaid domestic duties. They're clearly not rich people, they're working class people. 
So if the war started in 1939, did he get called up? If he was signed up, then he should be here. Search Second World War. British Army casualty list. I wonder what happened to him. So they're all Hammonds. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Hammonds. One of them must be him. Must be. So he was in the war. To discover what happened to her grandfather Harry, also known as Henry, during the war, Lisa's come to the Imperial War Museum in London. She's meeting with historian Dr. Amy Fox. A little bit of research of my own okay. um, in order to help you um, narrow down your search for you. your grandfather and came up with uh, this list here. There he is, Hammond. 10th. So 10th uh, Battalion. Right, Royal Berkshire Regiment. Yep. And it says date of casualty. 11th of the 11th, 1943. Italy. Yep. Yeah. So, to give you a little bit more information, um, I've got Henry's service record. So, record of service paper. Hammond, Henry. Oh, deemed to have been enlisted 19th of the 2nd, 42. So, this is an 18-year-old boy. He spends four months doing general training before he joins this particular battalion, the yeah. 10th Battalion, the Royal Berkshire Regiment. Um, and what's important to note is in August 1942, he goes overseas to Italy. So he's just an East End boy with only his mum in the house, and then he does a tiny amount of training, and then the, the journey to Italy is then actually happening, isn't it? can't imagine what was going through his head. In October 1943, Harry Hammond's battalion landed in Salerno, southern Italy. The Italian campaign was one of the most vicious and costly of World War II, with over 300,000 Allied casualties during 20 months of fighting. After only basic training, Harry fought his way up the west coast of Italy towards Rome. For someone like Henry, is having to fight in some of the most atrocious weather conditions. I mean, it's rivers you have to ford, you have to fight in mountains, it's cold, um, the wind cutting through them like a knife. It's really, really miserable conditions. You're not especially trained for this, so this is really, really tough going. And the Germans have been here a long time. They have lots of defensive They're lines. They're well established. Very well established. Mm. Well, and also, the other side know that they know terrain. That yeah. So, you know, they've got knowledge of what's coming next so they can Absolutely. catch people out, you know. In order to keep going up their advance towards Rome, they needed to take Monte Camino, which is a gateway almost to the capture of Rome. He's holding a position called Bear Ass Ridge. <laughs> so, presumably because it's very exposed. <laughs> um, but he's there and is subject to a number of German counterattacks. When you're thinking of the mountaintops, with all those crevices, it's really, really difficult to work out where everyone is at any given time. These conditions mm -hmm. will test any man's metal. And in that kind of the, the hubbub, the confusion yeah. of battle, Henry goes missing. Missing. And it tells us um, the date that that happens. What happened? That can mean all manner of things, whether Henry's deserted, so he'd gone absent without leave. Right. He could have been seriously wounded um, or he could have been captured um, by the other side. So where would he have gone missing? So he would have gone missing just around here between Caserta and Casino. I can put you in touch with someone who was there at the time and will be able to explain to you what Henry would have experienced and what kind of conditions he would have had to have faced. I'd love to find out. Well, it's a bit of a weird one, isn't it? I don't know whether I want to find out. It sounds horrible. 